Okay, welcome everybody. So I'm going to do something a little bit weird today. I'm going to do a director's commentary of a performance. So as many of you know already, I'm going to the London competition. I'm actually leaving in a couple of days for London. And so this is a run through of one of my PBROCs. Now, when I do a run through, okay, I set the recorder and the recorder represents the judge who's going to be judging the competition. And then what I do is I actually have a timer that's set up. That's what I just did. And the timer is set up for three minutes because that is the tuning clock that you would have in a real competition. So what I am doing now is, and I'm just gonna turn the volume down for a minute here, uh, but I'm gonna keep talking while that plays. So what I'm doing right now is I'm settling my pipes in just like I would in a real competition. All right, so many of us are familiar with this process, but some of us wonder why this goes on at all. So what's going on here is I'm getting the pipe settled. I'm making sure the chanter reed has, uh, you know, had any changes that it might undergo. For example, if the tuning room is a slightly different temperature than the playing room, the chanter might change pitch especially in the first couple of minutes. So what a piper will do here, as I'm doing in this case, is just play a few simple melodies. In this case, it's a variation of a P-Brock and I'm getting the pipe settled in. So listen to all the intervals of the bagpipe here and the drones, and then we'll talk about any changes that I might make here as we go. The pipe sounds pretty good here overall. Now you can't see, but off to the side, I have a big clock set up, just like it would be in real life with the seconds ticking down. There's only three minutes tuning allowed in London. That's my understanding. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing as long as I'd possibly dare. And then I'm about to reach up and tweak my drones so they're just the way I want them for the full 11 minute or so performance of the Desperate Battle. So the clock ended there, so it's time for me to start my tune. So this is the Desperate Battle. Put this up for our reference here. I know it's quite small, but. One of the things when I review a tune is I like to have the music in front of me to make sure I'm not making any mistakes that I'm not even aware of. So we'll just leave this music up here. So I felt like line one is just a little too aggressive. 
And then I wasn't able to show the full contrast I'd like to show in the second and third lines. So just food for thought that I'll chew on. It's not super catastrophic, but something I might criticize if I were judging me, which I am right now. So this is the variation one singling. So you'll notice a lot of long notes, okay? And one of the things that's gonna happen when we hit the doubling is those long notes are gonna fuse into the short notes to create a very exciting variation. My job is to present the best contrast I can here in this famous tune. The sort of famous folklore behind this tune is the tune is written to sort of depe uh, depict a great battle between two birds. So right now in these singling variations, they're kind of like um, circling each other and kind of looking for the best opportunity to strike. And now we're about to hit the doubling where they are actually going to start fighting here. Now another singling variation. You'll notice a slight transition in tempo from fast back into slow again. Fairly happy with how that transition came out. Just trying to keep the phrasing very subtle in this variation. There's a couple of inconsistencies that I need to remember to focus on, not allowing those to happen. We're about to hear the doubling now, back into the action with the birds here. Now the G-ish singling. I'm pretty happy with how the bagpipe sounds. If I'm being honest, the drones are not 100% locked. They're like 99% of the way there. Um, so that's too bad, but I am glad that what 
is there is holding really nicely and it's a nice pleasant sound despite the fact that it's not totally locked. Now this is the doubling of the G-ish. We're about to go into the Terlouith singling now. Going into the doubling of the Terluith, which is called the Terluith Amak. Now the Krunluith singling. This is the most exciting of the singlings because it's the final singling before the end of the tune. Maybe I'm going a little too aggressively here. Now the famous Krenluith Amak. So I'm trying to keep all of the movements here open and clear, not get too tight. And I think I'm doing an okay job. And that's it. And now back to the first line of the ground to finish off the tune. One of the things I like to listen for at this stage is how well did my bagpipe hold throughout the performance? And as much as it's not perfectly locked in, we are left with a very nice sound here, which, you know, it's probably would do very well in a competition, this bagpipe sound. Okay, there you have it, that's the performance. So what I really like, um, and just uh, bear with me here while I bring up, um, actually, no, I'm good. I really like how that performance came out. Um, you know, and believe it or not, this recording technique that I use, and I try to really put myself in the situation of a competition. Uh, I'm very happy with how it came out. It's far from perfect, and there's definitely some things I want to improve there. Uh, but 
putting myself in that situation where I have three minutes only to tune my pipes. And I did a pretty good job, not as, you know, not my very, very best, but pretty good. The bagpipe sounded pretty darn good, the whole performance. That's really nice. There were a couple issues with the tune that I'm going to sort of think about and put in my uh, mental um, sort of, what do you call it? My mental bank there for a while and just let some of these ideas churn. And um, But I'm in good position with that tune to be able to compete with it in a week, which is great because it's one of my new tunes. Anyway, that's my director's commentary of The Desperate Battle. I hope you enjoyed it as a cool, uh, hopefully a cool new uh, vlog format. And I'm going to do another one tomorrow as well um, because I'm really in hardcore preparation mode here for London. So we'll see you again soon in another vlog episode.